probably familiar with from elementary school, but we're going to in, introduce some new vocabulary today as well and talk about how we want you to think about these tables. So let's look at our first one. So if I have X and Y, and let's say that I have my first value of X is 3 and my first value of Y is 9. Let's think about this for a minute. What is the relationship between 3 and 9? Well, some people may say, I know 3 times 3 is 9, and I also know that 3 plus 6 is 9, and both of those are true. We don't know what the rule or the pattern is unless we were to continue to look at additional x and y values. So now let's look at the value. If x was 5 and I told you that y was 11, I originally said I could think about 3 times 3 is 9. Well, 5 times 3 is not 11, so that rule does not fit for my second value. So that is not the rule of this input-output table. Instead, I can see that the rule for this table is plus 6. I'm adding 6 to my x value to equal my y value. So 5 plus 6 is 11. And if I looked at another value of x, such as 12, well, 12 plus 6 is 18. This is what we call an additive relationship. Now we use the word additive, but additive could also include subtraction. So an additive relationship is when my rule or my pattern involves addition or subtraction, because remember that subtraction is the inverse of addition. Okay, so this is one of our vocabulary words, and this may or may not be a new term to you. So additive relationship involves addition or subtraction in the rule or pattern. Now how we want to see that rule written is we want to think about what am I doing to x to equal y. Well, I am taking x and I am adding 6 to equal y, which is 9, okay, in this first example, okay. Um, I want to use the x and the y because my x and my y change. My plus 6, my relationship or rule is what is not changing. I can also switch this around where I could say that y equals x plus 6. And you may see it written either way. Most commonly is with y equals x plus 6. Once we've determined the rule or the pattern, we can use this to help us find new values to continue our table. So for example, if I now told you, this time I want you to tell me what y equals if x equals 2. Well, now that I know the rule is plus 6, I simply have to add 6 to it to figure out that my next y is 8. It's very important that we don't do, a common mistake students want to do is they want to look for a, a pattern going down, like 3 plus 2 is 5 and 9 plus 2 is 11. Well, that's great on that first one, but you'll notice it doesn't work if I continue. 5 plus 2 is not 12, and 11 plus 2 is not 18. So it's very important that I'm looking at the relationship going across here from x to y. Let's look at another one. So this time we're going to look at if I had a chart or table where I had my number of dozens and I had my total donuts. If I had one dozen, my total donuts is 12. If I had three dozens, my total is 36. Four dozens, my total of donuts is 48. In this case, my rule or my pattern is times 12. And I notice that that works for each row. So 1 times 12 is 12, 3 times 12 is 36, 4 times 12 is 48, 
And just like we talked about previously, once we have found a rule or a pattern, we can use that to help us find additional values. So if I now asked you to find, well, if how many total donuts is in 12 dozens, I can use my rule of times 12 to determine that 12 dozens times 12 donuts in each dozen is a total of 144 donuts. So this is what we call a multiplicative relationship. Just like my additive relationship involved addition or subtraction, because subtraction is the inverse of addition, multiplicative involves multiplication or the inverse of multiplication, division. So just like we did on the last one, we want to write our rule and so this time, what am I doing to my number of dozens? And we can say our number of dozens is my x, and my total donuts is my y. So what am I doing to x to equal y? I'm doing x times 12 equals y. So my rule, I can say, is x times, I can use that dot to represent multiplication or times, 12 equals y or I can reverse it around starting with the y. y equals, and when I'm showing multiplication between a number and a variable, I put the number first, so 12, and then I put the variable right next to it, x. This means 12 times x. So these are the two ways that I can write that rule. Now I want you to try two on your own. I'm going to give you the table. You are going to determine if it's additive or multiplicative, and you are going to determine the rule and also use the rule to finish the pattern in the table. All right, so for the first one that I want you to try, we're gonna look at Brett's age. And Brett's sister's age. So given this input output table, can you determine if it's additive or multiplicative? What is the rule? And also, can you answer the question, how old is Brett's sister if Brett is eight? On your next one that you're going to try on your own, we're going to do an X and Y. And again, I want you to answer these three questions. Is it additive or multiplicative? What is the rule? And what is the value of y if x equals 11? 